Yeah, let's directly jump into it. So you already know that we can create an accounting group for a vendor in transaction code OBD3, that's OBD3. And you have learned that an accounting group stores important parameters and is also used for classifying vendor master records in our system. However, there was one important topic we did not talk about yet, which is called vendor subgroups. Before we jump into that, just some remarks. So let's consider a situation where we have a vendor, let's say X, and we have maintained a purchasing organization for that vendor with a specific order currency, let's say US dollar. But the same vendor can also accept different currencies like Indian rupee, Euro, AED and so on. And we procure materials to different plants. So for that, we would create so-called vendor sub ranges for three different countries, India, Europe and the Emirates. And then we can assign the respective parameters like the order currency and so on for each one of those individually. Let's now do so via transaction code slash n omsg, that's slash n omsg. We find our account group that we already created, double click on this one. And now you can see a bunch of more parameters. So for us, very important is here the data retention level purchasing. To utilize vendor subgroups, we need to click on both vendor sub range relevant and plant level relevant. Otherwise, it won't work. Also, you may have noticed here the field status could also be maintained now on a sub range level or on a plant level. So for now, let's save this one. And now let's create a new vendor master from scratch. Therefore, we navigate to slash n xk01, that's slash n xk01. We provide our company code, purchasing organization and our account group that we already created and hit enter. Then we provide some details, vendor with sub range, for instance, just some dummy data. Country, let's say US. Let's continue. I will just skip through those. We don't need them. Reconciliation account. And then on the purchasing tab, very important, we include the order currency US dollar, payment term 001. This would be for our main vendor, so to say. Let's now establish one or two subgroups. Therefore, we click on different data. It advises us that nothing is defined yet. That's okay. We click on yes. We provide the subrange name. This can be alphanumeric and up to six characters. Let's say test one, a description, test sub range one. Then the plant, it should be assigned to. And then here alternative data, we say purchasing data and click on continue. Now we provide a deviating order currency, for instance, let's say Euro. Let's hit enter. You can see we have now here the vendor sub range test sub range one established. Let's save this one. Let's provide one more line. Let's say click on create. Vendor sub range again, the description and this time plan 0002. Purchasing data create. And this time we say AED as a currency and save this one as well. Let's display our vendor. And here we can now see under different data, our two sub ranges that we established. And if I click on this one, we can see the order currency Euro. If I click on the other one, we can see the order currency AED. Let's now go to the transaction slash NME21N to create a purchase order and see this in action. We select our supplier over here, purchase organization group company code as always, our material, quantity, net price, then the plant, storage location, hit on enter. You can see the currency is still US dollar over here. However, now line item level in the material master, in the material data tab, we can select our vendor sub range for this vendor. In this case, vendor ending with the one and the sub range one. If I now hit enter, you will see that the currency will change accordingly as for our plant 0001. We included the currency in the vendor sub range euro instead of US dollar. However, if I adjust the vendor sub range to test two, you can see that the currency changed again. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss any more videos. And see you next time.